Hello guys, in this video I want to talk about the AGA appliance removal and uh, how, it, how the experience was for me. So two days ago I got my AGA appliance and FRLA appliance that was at the bottom removed. Um, this was supposed to happen last week, but due to scheduling and, and uh, just my job, I ended up having to reschedule to this week. So. Yeah, two days ago I went in early morning to get um, everything uh, off and um, the, it was a lengthy process. It took two hours. They had to actually physically like cut the AGA appliance in multiple places to remove it. So um, you couldn't actually get the, like the AGA appliance itself was pretty much in pieces after uh, getting it removed. Like it doesn't come out in one piece. So. Yeah, everything was removed, and um, you know I'm, I'm I'm glad everything was removed. You know my dentist wanted to actually numb me, um, just uh, up uh, near my front teeth, because he said that it's going to be painful there and it's going to be extremely sensitive, and th th those teeth are going to be very mobile. Um, but I chose to not um, d not numb anything because I, I just felt like it wouldn't be a problem. And uh, when he got everything, when he removed everything, um, it was actually very painless to me. I didn't like. It was only when he was shaving off some of the um, some of the pads near the front teeth, which were a little sensitive, that I felt some pain. But the actual removal process um, was pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, I didn't even my front teeth afterwards. I was actually surprised at. You know, they, they're definitely sensitive, but I wouldn't say they're very mo mobile at all or or uh, or very loose or nothing, nothing of that sort. And I'm super grateful for that because obviously a lot of people have complained about that. Um, so uh, th that was super smooth for me. But again, you got to remember, I only went three to four millimeters of advancement. I didn't advance seven, eight plus millimeters. So um, if I would have advanced that much in terms of growth, then maybe there would have been more teeth sensitivity. Um, but in regards to that, that went smooth. Um, and uh, yeah, first day, like I wanted to make this video as soon as I pulled everything off, but I was like, let me just feel, my, feel how my jaw settles and how my bite is um, these next two days. And I'm glad I did so because I have more uh, authentic feedback. So after everything was removed, um man it is uh it my jaw hurts my jaw my and my facial muscles are just aching and uh, my sleep has been just not very good and uh yeah whenever i speak and and talk i notice my bite um well i'll tell you this my bite is all over the place i mean i'll, I'll show you my bite in, in a second but it is all over the place and uh, i feel it when i'm eating um and uh, I, I just feel a lot of aches and, and I'm starting to get some ear pressure back, which is, you know, back from my TMJ days. So uh, that was, you know, that's definitely concerning. Um, yeah, if, just to show you my current bite with, uh, I'm currently wearing the retainer. I'm just retaining the tops gaps that I gained. Um, but to show you my bite, Here's where I'd naturally bite right now. And you could see like in the back here, I don't make much contact on my right side and on the left side, it's completely open. It's like a completely posterior open bite. Um, so yeah, and this is where I currently bite, where my bite's actually supposed to be is actually a total different place, that where I, I'm supposed to actually like line up the midlines. And when I do so, I'm looking, I'm looking here to line up this frenulum with the upper one, and it would look like somewhere like this. And you could see in the back here, I still don't make any type of contact, and on the left, it's even way worse. So I'm literally making contact on like, two teeth on the right side when I'm chewing now. And I definitely feel that when I'm speaking, because when you're speaking, your jaw moves up and down. And, and uh, yeah, like I, I particularly feel that my right side is particularly overactive and my left side is very underactive. 
and uh, so yeah but I'm still getting adjusted you know um, I just you know it is frustrating that this the treatment didn't work out the way I wanted it to be um, but it is what it is I look at this you know as a learning opportunity and I still I think you know I want to just let everything settle I want to I want everything to heal up I want my gum, the gum tissue, the bone tissue. Like I said in my last video, I've been in like three or different orthodontic treatments since I was like 10, 12, 11, you know? So it's time to take a break. Um, even though my bite looks like worse than it started and looking at it from the outside in, I'm like, I'm concerned about my bite long-term, most certainly for my TMJ. Um, and, uh, but I just think for now, let's take a break let's not do any more further treatments and and um we need to take a break um so yeah um that's my experience so far um two days you know after the aga um one thing i do want to point out is uh in my update videos with leading up you know with the treatment with aga where i give you a one month update or whatnot all the things I said were very much true. Um, when I said my TMJ felt better, when I said I could breathe a little bit better, that was very much true. And, uh, and yeah, up until I actually got my AGA appliance removed, uh, my TMJ was feeling a lot better. I mean, that was huge to me. Um, there was not much like ear pressure and, and I really felt that from the AGA appliance. But once I got everything removed, um, I noticed that my jaw, the TMJ is starting to come back. And the reason why that is, I thought it was, be, I thought my TMJ was getting better from the, from the actual AGA appliance and the growth and supposedly repositioning. But really what was happening is I had these little bite blocks on each uh, of my bottom molars. And it really just gave me, what it really did is that those two bite blocks gave me a just level plane to bite on. It just gave me at least something to bite on. Because if you, I, like I showed you earlier, my left side, the left side of my teeth completely don't make any contact. And so I'm chewing like this and it's just, this side's always working, this side's just on pause. So when I actually had that, when I was going through AGA and I had those bite blocks, I actually, I got a, somewhat of a plain bite like i like both of my both of my um both the sides of my mouth were actually biting onto something which was huge i don't i don't i haven't had that so um but uh as soon as those were removed i'm noticing that yeah symptoms are starting to come back so yeah um and in terms of the breathing benefits i i did experience i am i am breathing better i also think that that is majorly due to, I think, uh, the, the less inflammatory diet that, that I've been eating, you know, so I've been getting way less sinusitis, sinus infections, and, and think just that allergic reactions. So um, my diet's also, also been cleaner. So I would contribute actually a lot of the, the breathing improvements to my diet. And I don't know how, how much Aga did help there. I think it did play some role, but um, we'll, we'll see long term. Um, but yeah, guys, that's just my short little update. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks uh, for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down. I love hearing different stories, you know, of, of which, what treatment you're going through and whatnot. Um, I appreciate reading comments like that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned.